What's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi, and we're back again, once again, with. Okay, hear me out. So last week, I missed out on episode 14 for a pretty legitimate reason. One, I was visiting the missus. So that kind of goes without saying. That's family, basically. So that's the first reason. Number two, I actually did have full intention of recording videos like normal, like, you know, keeping up with my schedule and whatnot with this channel, my video game channel, and even my stream. But unfortunately, <laughs> with my amazing luck with technology, I was unfortunately unable to record with my laptop and this here mic that I'm back to using now because, oh, what do you know, my mixer and mic that I have been using are providing some kind of weird hiss and I can't fix it. I don't know what the hell's going on. So here we are. We missed out on episode 14 last week, but that's okay because this week we're gonna do what I haven't done for Digimon for the first time ever. And we're not here to miss out on any episodes. We're gonna literally get all the reactions done as they come out um, as best as we possibly can. So for the first time, we're gonna have a double whammy, episode 14 and 15 for you guys today. So look forward to it. I hope you guys enjoy this format. I don't think I will be doing these like this in you know the future but if it ever comes to something where I just can't record the reaction and the timing just isn't right I'm not gonna just try to rush react and get it out for you guys within the reasonable amount of time I'm just gonna do it like this and put it in with the latest episode so for those that care and are still here and you were wondering on what might have happened to episode 14 well here you go. So yes, the king of the insects clash. This is episode 14. Tai Chi's team reaches a canyon where they are attacked by a swarm of insect Digimon. In the chaos that ensues, Koshiro and Tentomon stand up to protect their friends. And this time around, we got to actually read the entire uh, little bio there. So without further ado, guys, let's just get right. He speaks in a Kanto dialect. I wonder what Dose means. It's probably some like Japanese slang. I mean, we only got one left. Yes, you got the tobi no te kaze ni na na te. Oh. Were those effects always like that? I could have sworn they just added those sound effects. They definitely added those in. They were, those were, those sound effects were never in there before. Yeah, so I was about to say last week, but naturally it was two weeks ago for me. We got to see uh, a little bit of Bergerman. And then, so we got that fresh Garudamon. We fly in and we walk in and we huge. Garudamon looks like... It could be Samoan. Imagine Garudamon with Samoan tattoos. They'd be freaking godlike. Damn. Mm, that's... Okay, well. This episode definitely didn't air during a certain time. So I guess... I guess it's okay. Damn, the reception is uh, getting a little worse. Oh, Coagamon! Oh, snap! That classic. Damn, and, and freaking Koshiro, or my man Izzy, cannot look up nothing. Oh my god, and there's multiple. Damn, so this episode, we're getting right into it, huh? <laughs> what? Wow, okay. That's like the quickest evolutions we've seen thus far. Oh, snap! Oh, that's not fair! Oh, I saw Taichi's freaking uh, Digivice. Glowing. Damn, they're all getting washed up. So is this episode not, is this episode about not always relying on stuff you're used to? Hmm. Or maybe it'll be about like you're relying on your instincts maybe. So Izzy deducted that they're, he feels like they're being hunted by them, by the way that they're moving. So he is now applying his smarts to this situation, which is a good thing. That's exactly what they need. What the hell is that? Oh, nah, nah, nah. That's like the champ, the Okuaman? Dude, that thing is huge. Yeah, that's an ultimate Digimon. I always get the ultimate and champion different, uh, messed up. Damn, that John looked like Kawagamon Digivolves into that. Jeez. You know, I'm also surprised that none of these Digimon that we've been seeing have reverted back to their previous forms yet like they are literally getting trampled i mean y'all need to get to your your champion versions too or your ultimate versions yeah i think i think that's what's gonna be it about because the whole theme right now is that izzy is constantly trying to rely on his computer and he's like dude I, if only i could just use this 
but he about to learn he about to be like you know what sometimes you need to believe in myself all right let's see damn you know i mean i understand that the episode is centered around like one digimon and that's what that's the formula they've been doing but i don't understand why these two can't you know ultimate evolve right now oh dude dear dude that thing is huge. It makes Kabuterima look like a freaking ant. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is digital spirit. I mean, I definitely appreciate the effort right now from Kabuterimon. But bruh, this is why Digimon... Dude, like Pokemon don't even compare to Digimon, bro. This is on a whole nother level. Come on, dude. Look at the reflection. Rely on yourself. Believe. Believe. You don't always need the computer unless you're me and have to because you can't make videos otherwise. Yo, why does Izzy's computer look like it's a Snapchat computer? That that logo definitely looked like the Snapchat logo. The most ultimate weapon. Teach him that won't ever even lose to a tablet. Let's see, tell him. Your brain, your knowledge, your own self. Exactly. Yeah, close that sh Yeah, there you go. Now he's commanding him like he's a freaking Pokemon trainer. All right, now this is the part where Koshi is probably going to say a little, little something, something. And that's going to trigger Kabuteri my ultimate evolution. <laughs> Even machines have days when they don't feel well, like humans. Seems like that happens to be my machines often. There it is. Ooh! 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 Oh, yes! Damn! Ooh, Mega Kabuteri my looking nice! Damn, Grandma's getting... Oh my goodness. Atler Kabuterimon? What? My man came in like a samurai Genzan? Hey, he's here. Ooh. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Was it always Atler Kabuterimon? Or was Mega Kabuterimon the English version? Because I did not, never heard of no Atler Kabuterimon. That's, that does still sound kind of badass. Bro. He's huge. I don't think I'll ever get over how, how big they get when they're in their ultimate forms. That's crazy. Wow, so they're using the mirrors to... <laughs> they're using the mirrors to distract them to essentially running into the, their own reflections. Okay. Oh, now we're going to get the ultimates for Greymon. Ooh, yo. This... Oh, my God. These animations are so fire. They're dead. Fried. Oh. Horn Buster. Damn. Driving him through the ground. Oh, and in the sky too? Oh no. Jeez. That was pretty fire. Turned them into exploding dust. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> the laptop is fixed after all that. It's faster now. So they, they must be they, they must mean they're nearing their destination, right? They got better reception. Oh, a new ending? <gasps> Look who it is! Our boy. Okay, I'm listening. I like the upbeat. Oh, <laughs> this animation is kind of goofy. I like it. Interesting. I think I feel like the 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 full extended version of that song would be a lot better. Zuramon's Iron. Oh my God, that's the first time that they just straight up showed <laughs> the next uh, ultimate form in the preview like that. Normally they tease it a little bit better, but I mean. Damn, poor Joe. They they, they they figured it was Joe, and they're like, ah, oh, it's Joe. Just screw it. Just throw throw him in there. So as far as the episode goes, uh, pretty 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 well done, I would think. Uh, Kings of the Insects clash. Obviously, lots of Kuwagamans. Uh, we had that Owa something man, Owa Kawao man. I forget how to pronounce it, but it looked definitely like it was the ultimate form of a Kawagama. It looked like they were definitely in the same family line there. And I could definitely tell from how the episode was, how he was constantly checking the computer and how they had no reception, that it was pretty much going to be the theme with believing and relying on yourself rather than relying on something like you know a uh, computer or whatever it is so i i definitely appreciate and like the theme of episode 14's pretty nice pretty wholesome the ending song was definitely a surprise however i almost forgot actually i completely forgot that there were going to be debuting a new ending song i'm not gonna lie i i'm not the biggest fan of when stuff like that happens especially when they have banger tracks thankfully they haven't changed the opening which I hope stays throughout the entire show. That's just me. Because you know, when it's like, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? I, I know like with anime, as seasons go on, you definitely get more songs, but 
that's neither here nor there. I'm just pretty much giving you guys my opinion. Hopefully there's some of you that agree with me or feel me on that note. But the ending song isn't bad. Like I said, I feel like the full version might sound a little bit better. I do like the upbeat uh, pacing that it has. It sounds pretty cool. The beat from what I could hear um, with the low volume that I have here in my room sounds pretty decent. I'll definitely have to give it another listen. But without further ado, obviously let me know what you guys thought about this week's ep well, episode 14. Um, in the comments below we're gonna get right into the next one. all right so since we know that gomamon is the last and final one are we gonna see a tease at patamon next because they did have my man tk in the ending back to gururumon hmm <laughs> sorry for all the noise so Joe's still out here thinking he's the leader, but he really hasn't uh, contributed or done much. So maybe his whole gimmick is he's going to try and take action. I remember this elephant looking Digimon. I don't remember the name, obviously. And I remember those bears, too. Zudomon's Iron Hammer of Lightning. Mamon. Pfft. It's a mammoth. Ma Mamon. I, I, I feel like Mammothmon probably would have been a little bit better. It rolls off the tongue a lot easier. Mam Mamon just sounds lacking. Yukiduruman. Yukiduruman? Yakiduru. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> Dude, marching fishes is such a ridiculous move. Oh no! She's getting frozen solid. Oh my god! Part of her leg turned into like some data that got slight. That got. I don't even know if it got hit off or whatever. Mammoth, I'm, you know what? I'm about to call this thing Mammothmon, all right? Is Mammothmon trying to... Oh yeah, they're definitely starting an avalanche. Meanwhile, these dudes are in a freaking desert. That's crazy. Izzy with the Snapchat computer. Oh, this they're calling it the ice on her leg, but that does not look like ice. That looks like digital data, an ice virus. Wow, even Mammothmon could skate on the ice or the snow i should say yo how are they not cold they're literally surrounded by all snow and ice and they even got no type of layers on they gotta be freezing meanwhile my man joe over here is literally sweating maybe joe's is just about facing fears and now it's a race to the finish Ikakuman is trying to hit in the lead. And Ikakuman takes off ahead ahead of Mammothmon. Mammothmon charging up. I don't know why I'm doing that. Stop. Damn, that thing is ginormous. Yeah, I, I have a feeling this is going to be about facing your fears. Because Joe's always scared of everything, man. Even though he calls himself the leader, he's kind of a joke. Probably why they saved him for last anyway. But it sucks because I like Gomamon. I like Ikakuman. And then the ultimate form that he turns into is od creepy looking cave with wind coming from it if that was me i would not be going in that cave <laughs> they're coming close oh did he just break oh he definitely broke yep oh my goodness the waterfall is a freaking ice fall damn that thing is huge come on joe be a man be a man our role is to draw them away that's their way of protecting being the support being the distraction yeah, that's it. Get all excited. Evolve your Digimon because of this realization. So now it's gonna trip and fall, and uh, that ain't gonna be it. I can tell you that right now. I'm pretty sure that's not what they expected to happen. They're all falling down. I'm sure it was all part of your plan. Damn, they went right in the water, too. They already crossed the river? They started a fire? Isn't that gonna just give away their position? Damn, he's turning the whole river into ice. He made his own bridge! <laughs> wow. Mammothmon is OD. I'm sure Yamato's literally about to, like, be on some save the day type stuff. I mean, they could just take out the bridge, you know? Ooh! Oh my god. These animations are so sick. Zudomon. Fire. You know, I'm 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 really tired of uh arena fighters, but honestly, if they made a Digimon game which they already have that featured like all of these champion or ultimate edition Digimon, that'd be pretty sick. Nah, screw it. Just make a 3v3 fighting game. <laughs> make it like Marvel. The hell's he about to do? Hammer Spark. He's about to break that jaw. Yo, Zudamon looks sick. Look at that design. He looks like a happy fella. And the rainbow to end it all. Very nice. Oh, back to Tokyo. 
Aw, oh, I got hype. They're still freaking walking down in that dark ass cave. I don't know if that's an exit. Be careful. <gasps> it was that a portal? Are they back in the regular human world? Oh my god, they're literally back in the human world, bro. They're gonna get TK. They got to. Why else would they have him in the damn ending song, man? Overall, I thought the episode was pretty good. Was able to kind of gauge at what Joe's whole sh spiel would be about. But I mean, it was alright. Nothing too crazy. Alright, what's up with the preview? This is crazy. So it seems like they're not exactly back in the world that they came from. It seems like they're possibly in like still like a digital version of maybe the Tokyo that they remember. But if you saw for like a quick second, that one guy, he looked like he was starting to get a little fuzzy, a little pixelated there. So who knows? Maybe it's a mirage. Maybe it's fake. Maybe it's a ploy. It's a plan to get them distracted to think that they were back in the human world i don't know but something's up and it's gonna look interesting the other thing that i wanted to point out is that when they tease what who the next digimon would be to get the attention or whatever for or like the spotlight for the next episode you definitely saw garurumon in that john so didn't really notice joe or i'm sorry didn't really notice matt all that much in that preview so I wonder like how the how the formula is gonna go now because they all just got their ultimate forms. Are they gonna go past that already? I don't know. But either way, let me know what you guys thought about this week's episode in the comments below as always. Like, share, subscribe, me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. This was episode 15 of Digimon Adventure Reboot. If you guys are enjoying these reactions, I hope that you guys do become Patreon backers so that way you can get these reactions full uncut, um, full length unlike the youtube versions that's gonna be exclusive content to the patreon so if you're enjoying these reactions here on youtube definitely consider becoming a patreon so that way you can see the full uncut reactions in addition to a bunch of other perks that i'll have listed on that page so go ahead and please check it out make sure you're joining the uchi gang discord make sure you follow me on twitch like i said all sorts of social links are going to be in the description below so that we can continue to follow and support what i'm doing here as well as basically wherever else i'm at keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside may the power protect you i'll see y'all next time